Welcome painters! In today's video I'm going to explain wet blending technique. If you follow all these steps you will get awesome results. So if you are ready, let's go for it! First of all, I prime the miniature. I use the mixed technique of black and gray. Up here, you can see a cool link to a video where I talk about the colors to use to prime your minis. Now, I will put all of the colors on the wet palette. Using a wet palette is highly recommended, even more so with this technique, since the colors will always remain fresh. As you can see, there is an incredible zoom of the palette on screen. I want you to pay close attention to how I load the colors. I moisten the brush and then load the paint. Notice that I load a lot of paint. The key is to apply thick layers so they don't dry out too quickly. So you have to apply them in a fast movement. As the brush is moist, it will not dry, so load a good amount and keep moving the paint. You see that the paint stays fresh, and now we get another color, this flesh color. Pay attention to how I apply it to the belly and blend it. I work the acrylic as if it were oil paint. I press very little to blend both colors. To blend both the green and this flesh color. I got asked about how I use the wet blending technique when I recorded the video of the troll. Well, here it is in normal speed. Pay close attention to the movement. The paint stays fresh. Because I applied a thick layer and the brush is wet, that's the trick. We load more paint and do the same on this side, apply a thick coat and blend it. It's a great technique if you want to paint quickly. We are covering the belly. And blend it now like oil paint. If we use too much pressure, we will lift off some paint. Look here how I remove some paint. It's nothing. I take more paint and put it on in a goop. This way I cover everything. Notice the paint remains fresh. That's the wet blending technique, blending wet colors. I will paint the legs a little to show you the effect. And let's blend it. Keep in mind this is not a layering video. I just want to explain the wet blending technique, which is to blend fresh colors. If you are interested in a video about layering to blend color, let me know in the comments and I will record a specific video about it. This video is about wet blending. I will not try to get a perfect blend. I'm not looking for it. I want you to understand this technique, which is why I'm using a zoom on the wet palette. Crucial, if we want the paint to dry faster, we will use the hair dryer to speed up the process. 
so we can continue working. Since paint dries slowly sometimes, and we want to accelerate the process. So take the hair dryer, medium temperature, not too hot, not too cold, and make a couple of passes. And apply the colors again. I mean, I apply a color that stays fresh, then another, and blend them. You can also combine this technique with glazes as well. To add tones to the troll skin. You see that it is a very simple technique. I speed the process up with the hair dryer. And you see how the paint dries. And that's the process. I apply one color, then another, and blend them. It's the same effect as working with oil colors, but that takes way more time to dry. But acrylic is super easy to apply, and you see if we use a moistened brush and thicker paint, we can do this oil effect to blend the colors. Now I will add some tones to the belly. I will use orange and violet, and I will add more water than normal to make the paint more diluted, so we'll add tones with glazes. Notice that some paint got removed. It's no big deal. I take flesh color and put it on top. Simple as that. If I noticed an abrupt change, I add some green to blend it. That's the advantage of the wet blending technique. As we work with fresh paint, we can blend the colors. Next, I will use a bit of Periscopes, a color I love, to add some shadows. It's a fast painting process. I just want you to understand the wet blending technique. Work the colors while fresh, like an oil painting. Now I will use some red ink to give tones to the belly, the scar. You see that I add very thin layers, thereby adding tones to the belly. I take some green and blend it. You see that the process is super easy. And the colors blend great with this technique. Well, now I will highlight the belly a bit. I take some light flesh and a little green, and I apply the paint on the highest areas. I clean the brush. I take some of the brownish green color, and notice where I apply the color to blend it. I add very thin layers. To blend, I moisten the brush a bit. This way, I highlight the belly. Also working with fresh colors, more watered down colors. To blend them better. Now, 
I apply a glaze to tone the belly a bit more. As you can see, the process is very simple. I encourage you to practice this technique because it is very fun when painting minis like this troll. Or any rather organic figures. You can also paint a cape and lots of things. I keep highlighting. I will make some little veins. And you see that with a few little layers, this changes a lot. If we spend more hours on it, the result would be much better. But in this video, I just wanted to explain the wet blending technique, and I hope this video helps you understand the technique. Now it's just a matter of blending the lights and shadows. And you can see that the colors blend perfectly with this technique. Taking your time, you are going to get some super cool effects. For the second example, I will paint a cape, the same black primer. I will use an Artist Opus brush size 2, and the colors blue and royal blue. I put both colors on the wet palette. I will add a little bit of matte medium, since the blue colors are a bit satin. And now, with this product, matte medium, Well, I add a little bit to reduce the satin. This is not related to the wet blending method at all. I add matte medium so the blue color isn't so shiny on camera. Notice I load a lot of paint on the brush. Here it's thick layers, not thin coats. It's the opposite. It's a very fast technique, as I explained in the first example. I use thick layers to paint quickly. If you are gamers, I recommend this technique. Later, if you are looking for a perfect finish, you could use this technique. But getting a good blend effect takes time. In this video, I just want to explain the technique, how to blend fresh colors. Well. If you look, I'm applying a fairly thick layer to cover everything. I will add some matte medium to the other color. I am going to add a bit more since the blue tends to be very satin. And next, I will highlight it to blend the colors. blue with royal blue. If it is taking too long to dry, you can use the hair dryer 
and give it a few passes. Well, I keep painting. Fearless. We keep adding thick layers. It's like painting with oils. Notice the paint remains fresh due to the thick layers. We dry it a bit with the hair dryer to work better. Since if it is too fresh, it will be difficult. So don't hesitate to use the hair dryer to speed up the process. Don't dry it completely, just a little to dry it out a bit and then apply the color. I keep applying royal blue. The first example was more noticeable because the colors were very different, since there was green and flesh color. This time, it's more difficult to see it because the colors are similar, but little by little you will notice the contrast between lights and shadows. I am highlighting on the upper parts to force the contrast. I flip the miniature to paint it. Well, I take the cap off from the holder. The new Redgrass Games holders are perfect because if the handle bothers you, you can remove it and use only the cap to hold the mini. Well, pay close attention to how I apply the color. All fresh. Personally, I use this technique when I have to paint very quickly. If not, I prefer painting calmly, going layer by layer to achieve a flawless finish. But if you are gamers, this technique is perfect. But it's important to apply thick layers. If you want to apply thick layers, you must be confident. Apply a thick layer, take another color, and then blend them. If it takes too much time to dry, use a hair dryer. Dry it a bit and blend the colors. Notice I use very little brush pressure to blend blue and royal blue. Now, to blend, I apply more thinned down paint. Let me know any questions you have in the comments. If you want more videos about this technique, comment below and I'll add it to my list of pending videos. Which is huge right now. But that's fine. I love recording videos and I hope to publish even more videos each month. Now with sky blue, I'm going to keep adding more highlights. I put a little bit on the wet palette and add it to the royal blue. Pay close attention how I highlight and blend. And I don't worry about getting a good blurred effect, nor is this my intention with this video. I just want to explain the technique in this video. If you are interested in videos about how to blend and get perfect blends, let me know in the comments. I guess it could be interesting, since there are several ways to get a perfect blend.
I keep highlighting and blending. And the contrast is already noticeable. I don't want it too strong. I paint the upper parts of the cape as well. Look closely, thick layers. I take a bit of the previous color and I'm blending the fresh paint. You see, it's super easy. To apply a color, take the previous fresh one and blend them. If I do it much slower, I could get a perfect blend, but I'm not worried about it now. This video is to teach the technique. I take some blue and add some layers to increase the contrast. I highlight these wrinkles a bit more. And then I will put a shadow so you can see how to apply this technique with dark colors to finish the video. I highlight a bit more. Now, I will shade it. There, this orange color. What does that do in there? It is blue's complementary color, and so it is useful for shading. Write that down, which color to use to shade blue. We could use orange, red, or a brownish red as well. But I will explain color theory later, since I have to make several videos. Take a good look at how I am applying the mixture. And here's the final result. Let me know any questions you might have in the comments below. If you like this video, share it with your friends, like the video and ring the bell. And don't forget, you can get all the products I use in this store. Hobby Shop, Element Gate, Goblin Travel, and Art Hobbies. So, mate, paint a lot, and see you next video.